Liberty closed out its final non-conference weekend with a sweep of Eastern Michigan, 25-20, 25-14, and 25-22. Eastern Michigan showed a lot of resiliency throughout, especially that first set back and forth there. They did. Eastern Michigan came out tough. They served well. They kept Liberty out of in-system passing, but Liberty, with the offensive weapons that they have, they were able to easily secure that first set win. They outpaced the Eagles for the match, 214 to 130. And they also added in a season high 11 aces. So they were getting it done in all facets here this afternoon. Second set was the most dominant for the Flames, building a double digit lead and carrying that throughout. This is where we saw the Liberty's net defense really start to come in big. They ended up with seven blocks on the day, three from Trinity Watts, three from Lydia Burtz. Also getting some big kills there from Burtz in that second set. At one point, Burtz had 11 kills, no errors on 13 swings. She finished hitting 600 for the day. The third set, once again, Eastern Michigan battled, but Liberty prevailed. All in all, the weekend for Liberty, a victory to start against Radford and a victory to end against Eastern Michigan. The Flames now show an eight and six record on the season. Top performers right here last night, Cameron Backus versus Radford, 10 kills, career high, four service aces. Also getting a lot of production from Phillips, Burtz, Trinity Watts, being the lead attacker here today for the uh, Liberty Flames, having 13 kills, hitting 414, almost a double-double, but with nine digs. As mentioned, final tune-up before ASUN conference play begins. Queens will visit Lynchburg next Friday, and that begins ASUN play before the Flames return the trip and play at Queens two days later. Close out the Invitational. Liberty sweeps Eastern Michigan at match next Friday's at 6 p.m.